Hey everyone, Phantom here. Welcome to a little tutorial uh, that I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's how to get the Stardew Valley multiplayer mod. I haven't, I haven't tried this out myself. Like, I haven't tried it out with friends yet, but soon I will. But I know it's working because it has its own menu. So let's just get started. Uh, you'll need two things. You're gonna need the SMAPI right here, and you'll also need makeshift multiplayer. Uh, I'll put the two links to get these down into the description. But uh, makeshift is actually from Nexus, but just so you guys know, even though it's from Nexus, you cannot use Nexus Mod Manager. I tried, it does not work. Anyways, uh, just download those two, those two things, and then you want to go into SMAPI. You want to extract it into a folder. Uh, and then you want to click install. Now, uh, you want to press 1 for install SMAPI and then enter. It will give you these little things down here. And if you get this, then you did something right. Uh, you'll also need this too. This has something you'll need. Anyways, I let's just I, I I just put this on just so that the video is not quiet. Just silence. Anyways, you want to go to this website and you want to grab this real quick. It's all the way down into three. Now I know you could just go like, "Hey, why would I, why would I watch this if I can just read it on here?" Well, I'm gonna do this in like really quick. So now you want to go to Stardew Valley, uh, go to Properties, hit Set Launch Options, and then paste that right in there. But don't hit OK. Do not hit OK. You might want to also get rid of. It. Do not hit OK. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is actually go to your Stardew Valley in Steam Apps or whatever. Whatever your Stardew Valley is, double click it and you'll be in here. Now you want to go here, copy address, and then go here and paste it right in here. Alright, so. And then hit OK. That's when you. That's when it's hard to hit OK. And there's Azrael. <laughs> uh, that that's when it's okay to hit OK. Uh, so once you've done that, you basically you're done. Yeah, I was just talking to Puffy right here about the thing. Yeah, and here's Azrael. <laughs> we'll talk to him in a bit. Uh, I was just talking to Puffy about the mod. Um. Anyways, uh, the next thing you want to do is that you want to go to make you want to extract this. I'll just do this just because I can. Extract this. You want to go to your Stardew Valley game. And then there'll be a new folder right here called mods. And then you want to just take this and drag it in here. As you can see, I already did it, but just so we're all, tr we're all clear, I'll do it again. And then you should be done. Now, the only thing is that you can't open this in Steam anymore. That's the one problem about doing this. So what I recommend, just to have it quickly, is either do this at a non-Steam game. Uh, I for some reason put Desmu Bay in here. Um, yeah, at a non-Steam game, go to where you put the Stardew Valley and do this. Stardew modding API. 
and add it. And there you go. There you go. Start your modding API. Now, you have to open this in order for the mods to work. And I'll just show that. Yeah, we'll do all this fancy stuff real quick. Also, a quick thing I didn't know, if you actually click this guy... Yeah. Now, I'll just go into, um... I'll go into my old file. Now, here, this is how I know it works. You can play single player, host the game, or go into someone else's game. Um, so yeah. This is, um, how you mod Stardew Valley. Now, I don't know, you can't chat in this, so. That is loud. That is really loud. That is loud. Sorry for that, guys. Anyway, this is uh, just a little quick thing I wanted to show you guys. So yeah, see you in the next actual episode of Stardew Valley. Goodbye.